And we're back! Last time we completely messed up the pudding and pie with a, I guess, was it a cricket bat? That said crowd control on it and made Georgie very upset. And uh, there was a girl we saw that was disappearing into the back. That, that was not a cricket bat, sir. That's was it? the bat you use to spank naughty girls with. Oh, is it? It's a sex toy. Yeah, it's a sex toy. Well, I, I wouldn't know. So thank you for clarifying that for me. Yeah, well, you know, the things I know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he walks straight into that one. <laughs> the audience wasn't around for the start of that inside joke, sadly. <laughs> Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Okay, well, that's all the normal affairs. Um, oh, that's Fate's cubby. Hmm. Lock's been busted open. That looks like it's been broken into. Yeah. Both of them have been broken into. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Okay. Um, and this is, I think, Lily. With a note. Yeah, another note. Note I can't freaking see for some reason. Uh, maybe we'll come back to it. It's kind of weird that we can't actually, like, pick that up. Or maybe it was the one we put down Excuse off me. the ground. Yeah. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Hmm. I keep hearing that. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, oh, I should be Ariel. Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Hmm. Does the number yeah, 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. Hmm. By design. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Isn't your Wolf, apartment. Would you like to make an appointment with me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Your apartment's What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. Wait here for a second. Did so I mention... what you get for 65 bucks? Probably just a game of chess. Um, so, I didn't mention <laughs> this uh, last time, but you, you mentioned... Did I talk about... Uh, the consequences of giving Faith your money at the start of the game was? No, but I assume that might have been one of them. Yeah, if you give Faith your money at the start of the game, um, you don't have the money to pay for your bar tab, and you don't have the money to pay for this. So, it's a little, like, give and take. Um, you, can, you also have the option of, during the investigation, 
or sorry, during the interrogation, um, when you're torturing Tweedledee to steal his money, so that adds more cash to your pocket. But money is like a weird currency in this game that. Um, if, if you don't have it and you try to do something with it, you'll get screwed. But it, it just depends on the situation. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks, Narissa. She really hooked us up. Oh, he still gave us 65 bucks. I reckon that's good enough for a hand job. That was a little weird. Whatever. Uh, well, a client, perhaps. Oh, yeah. So this is, uh, definitely a seedy hotel. And a loud bus. That bus was super <laughs> loud, Jesus. Alright. So then this is probably the place that they met. So, Narissa did put us on the right track. At least we're hoping so, anyway. Okay. Let's see what we got here. When we had the preview last time, they had loads of stuff with Beast and Beauty. Yeah, if you haven't seen them at all yet. Pair of that. Um, that preview that you're talking about first of all was edited out of the episode so people probably have no idea what you're speaking of um whenever you finish an episode in this game it gives you like a preview reel of spoilers for the next episodes and those things are things that can happen but not necessarily will happen they're just like teasers uh, okay the rooms are anything like the lobby they should cut their rates it's a really expensive rooms. Ding dong. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? Oh. <laughs> I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So That's now you know. I know I should have told to somebody, it. but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily, she, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Hmm. Have you ever seen snow here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Hmm. Uh, uh, Faith was also there with Ever the same person, so maybe Faith? Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. No, I understand that. Um, I don't think 
I don't think asking about Lily would really help. What about... No, because that was being the glamour. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. All right. I think we can go up to the room now. Uh, I don't think it, eh, we could ask about that last thing, but ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long though. Hmm. How about a room register or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get That's here. Relevant. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, it'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. <laughs> Extra adults. Five minutes, please. <laughs> we'll see. Beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying Sorry. to kick you out. That won't be hard. All right, so we're on our way up to the rooms. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, uh, well, you never know. It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Well, we got the key for 204. We could go ahead and uh, see what's in there. Yeah. You get a, an idea of what the layout of the rooms are likely to be. Hmm. Never sure why they have desks in a place like this. Okay. Where's the bed? You get health inspectors through here very often? I don't know. What do you think? No. Finding what you're looking for? I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. Okay. Welp. Now that we've looked at that and we have a good idea so of the layout. are we done now? No. The room they met in was 207. <laughs> you want to listen at some doors? <laughs> yeah, why not? That'd be funny. Well? The party's definitely going on in 203, but I don't think... <laughs> unless you want to disturb them, I think we're going to leave that alone. More in the mood for doing some business. All right. No response. You have keys oh. to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. 
I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! Is this you staying out of it? I thought I could trust you! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! Well, I guess we're doing this. What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> this is kind of idiotic, you aren't even but listening to me. She's my wife, Bigby. Oh, jealous husbands. Yeah, they can fly off the handle. Please. Leave him be. This is my fault. Seems to be a level top. Bigby, no! Don't hurt him! <sighs> okay. I was gonna give him a break, but crap. You ruined everything! Peace. She's my. Hey, you didn't need to go. <sighs> <sighs> Just needed a battering ram. <sighs> Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. Well. Doors Shit. open there. What is it? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Someone's been rough with this <laughs> dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Hmm. <laughs> It's a little bit weird. Yeah, role play, obviously. Yeah. Weird cassette. That. Mm, so you definitely want to listen to. Yeah. Oh, if you can find a player that exists anymore to play the damn he thing. Brought wine. Classy. Huh. Wine. Interesting. Can't help but feel like I've seen that wine bottle before. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Interesting. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. What is it? 
It's in German. Hmm. The dress in the closet is the same as the one in this picture. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I guess he wanted to get the details right. God, role-playing as a person who really exists, who we know, that's just weird. I'm not sure who to feel worse for. Okay, no, I take that back. <laughs> yeah, seriously. The whole book is about her? Yeah. He's got a, like a sticky note trying to figure out what kind of apple that is. <laughs> Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Man, fairy tales are just messed up. Hmm. So is it Amundi who's discovered that they exist and... I'm not sure. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. What? What are you thinking? Oh, apple it's in the book. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. No. She couldn't. I've know. read Snow White before. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. Mm -hmm. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person. Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. Okay. I'll finish that for now. Um, yeah, I've read Snow so White scared. before, and I don't remember the bit where they cut off her head. Yeah, me either. Seems like a new detail. Um, so we picked that flower up from the the corpse earlier that was like clenched in the hand, right? Yeah, that's Maybe right. Yeah. She didn't see it and coming. You can see handprints on the bed too. But we saw that where flower. Where did you get that? Lily had it in her hand, in case there was any doubt over who died here. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Hmm. It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. You're right. The bed is the coffin. He's acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. <laughs> so he planned it all out. It's he had obvious. all the details noted down. Only then when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Hmm. So he's only killing prostitutes, so maybe he thinks it's social justice, you know? Maybe. Are those pictures of the dead girl? How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Dum dum dum. All right. 
So, we discovered that Ichabod was the one with a uh, snow white fetish. Is that the best way to put it? It seems that way, yeah. Yeah. A little, little weird, a little strange. Um, we didn't get a chance to hear what was on the tape, sadly. Um, I'm not sure if we could have played that using the radio or whatever, but I was just kind of like going from one bit of evidence to the other. And we might go back to that at some point, but for now it doesn't seem to be that important. So, what are your thoughts? Uh, what are your theories, Mr. Fireweaver? Okay, well obviously that puts uh, Ichimabad as uh, a suspect, but I think that's almost, almost too easy. But you never know, that could be, but right now he's suspect number one um but beast i think i'd like to know more about the beast who we don't know much about and jack as well is another character that we haven't really found much backstory and how they might be connected to everything so there's a few like still like names that are involved somewhere along the line that we really haven't had a chance to discover more about so i'm looking forward to future episodes where we can certainly find out more about that how about you well we do know beauty's secret now um that she was keeping concealed in the first episode where they're trying to make money to not get evicted from their woodlands apartment because apparently it's expensive right so they're they're doing things to uh to make a buck on the side that are in beauty's case it's a bit bit not as great working at a hotel like that and working as a receptionist um but they're they're just trying to make a bit of extra cash. But um, we might hear more about what they're doing in the future, what the deal between them is. It seems like their marriage is on the rocks, so to speak. That's yeah. about it. That's about all the all the thoughts I have. And uh, next time, I guess we'll be going after Ichabod to see if we can figure out what how he plays into all of this and if he actually killed Lily. Um, so far, I'm not sure if we have concrete as evidence on that. Um, we just know that he's a massive pervert and should probably be locked up or something. <laughs> True that. Anyway, I'll see you all next time on uh, the... I Wolf don't Among remember... What, yes, I didn't remember what the game was called. <laughs> best, it says right there on your screen. <laughs> yes, I know. Best, Best ever. Done.